He's not trying to do cardio all the way over to you to say hi. It's winter, he's bulking. This is a pretty cool chick, man. Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. Your home for gains and brains. And today, fellas, we're going to learn what girls do when they're trying to get your attention at the gym. Or at least some of you. So I came across this video in my recommended feed. It's by our friend here, Courtney Saracino, I believe. This is an older video. I think it's a couple years old. But in this video, she explains four tips for the ladies how to get our attention when out in the wild pastures of the weight room, the iron temple, the gym. You guys notice how on social media now people spell gym like J-I-M as if it's a person? Am I missing something? What is the inside joke here? I don't understand. This video is for all you girls out there who are currently crushing on someone in the gym. And like I always say on this channel, guys, I encourage you to be honest with yourself, even if it's uncomfortable. I know some guys are gonna comment down below, the gym is not for meeting people. The gym is to go exercise. The way some of these guys talk is very amusing, right? By that logic, if you can't meet women at the gym because it's for exercising, you can't meet them at the bar because it's for drinking, you can't meet them at the grocery store because it's for buying groceries. You can't meet them at the Starbucks because it's for coffee. The way some of these guys think, the only way or the only real place, the right place, you'd be able to meet girls is what, a dating app? Or a blind date seminar? Let me know how dating apps are working out for the average guy in 2022, okay? So, so much for that. Like I've said before, guys, I don't encourage PUA. I don't encourage you to be running around the gym or any place like a headless chicken balking after all these women and stuff. But there's a time and a place, and if you can read the signals and make a confident move, you can shoot your shot, right? It is possible. This is a cold hard fact, but most guys will never do it. They will never go talk to the girl they want in their gym. One or more girls. Some of you are probably looking at a girl in your gym for weeks, months, maybe even years at this point, and you're still always just like, oh, I'm gonna do it next week, next Friday, next, you're not gonna do it, bro. If you are a dude, right, you like to think of yourself, yeah, man, I lift and stuff, and I'm this tough guy, macho, stoic, whatever, but you're still too scared to just walk up to a nice young lady and introduce yourself and start a conversation, I don't know, dude. Uh, you might be kind of full of it. Just my opinion. But I think we can all agree on this. One of the biggest things that women care about when it comes to men, it's not just if you buy her flowers or how nice you are or any of that stuff. It's how you look. Even if you don't talk to the chick at all, if you're sitting at the gym with pepperoni face, that is not going to help your chances. And that's why I have partnered with Tiege Hanley once again, guys to bring you some great deals for men's skincare. I've used their products. I can vouch for the fact that they work. I've seen guys in the comments vouch for them as well. And perhaps the best part of all, they make skincare not only affordable, but uncomplicated for men. For basic skincare guys, I am going to recommend you start with the Tiege Level 1 system. It comes with all the basics you need for skincare as a dude. We have a daily face wash, an exfoliating scrub, a morning moisturizer with SPF 20 to protect your skin from the sun, as well as a PM moisturizer to keep your skin not dry and irritated during the night, which is especially big if you sleep with an air conditioner or fan on. Right now it's summertime too. Make sure you're going to bed with some protection for your skin. They're going to provide you with an instructional card in the box that tells you when to use each product, exactly how much to use with a size guide, and in what order. They take all of the guesswork out of skincare, something a lot of us guys don't wish to put a lot of attention into, but we still want to look our best. And because Tish Hanley is sponsoring this video, guys, they are offering you a great deal for your skincare. 
just click the first link in the description and you're going to get 30% off of your first box plus a free gift with any order. Click that link and get started today. You can find that in the pinned comment of this video or as the first link in the description. So get your skincare routine sorted out. Once again, it is summertime. A lot of social occasions are happening. Get this under control now and stop putting it off. Now let's learn how girls wanna get the attention of you and your good looking face. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Why are girls always doing this? Because I got four tips for you on how to get your gym crush to come up to you so you don't have to go up to him and feel awkward. So you see right there, like I said at the beginning guys, women have a very hard time, generally speaking, approaching people, romantically at least, because they have a big fear of being rejected. It's very mentally difficult for them and they have a big thing about looking awkward too, especially if they find you cute or handsome. So once again, that's one of the tenets of being a man essentially. It shouldn't phase us, right? You know, oh, I talked to her, she said no, whatever. That's all it is, right? It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. Let the women have their awkwardness and all their butterflies and the feelings. Just be a man and talk to her. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. My research shows, hold on, hold on. I feel like I look more reliable. If my research shows that there is a 95% chance that he'll come up to you. Well, she must be a fitness YouTuber because she's talking about research and wearing glasses, so she has to be right. My first rule of getting your gym crush to approach you, though, is don't. So then you, you don't mind if I talk to her? Cuffing season is just around the corner. It is here. You might wake up and just end up in a relationship and you don't even know how you got there. Okay, she's gonna break down cuffing season. So let's read her definition. Cuffing season, when people who would normally be single find themselves mysteriously desiring to be tied down by a relationship, usually in the winter months. That is very true. So as I'm making this video, guys, it's summertime. Hot girl summer, right? City girl summer, whatever we're calling it now. Cuffing season usually starts when the school season starts maybe around Halloween, right? Because after Halloween, you got Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, it's all those kind of romantic family type holidays. People like to have a girl to bring home to mom or to have a boyfriend to bring home to the family so the parents stop complaining, even if they don't really even like them fully. Just to get people's parents to stop complaining, people will find a partner or a partner, especially too if you're in an area where it gets cold and stuff, you wanna have a cuddle buddy, you can spoon and all this stuff, you can snuggle up under the blankie, right? So it's not cuffing season now, but this could give you some tips to prepare for cuffing season in the coming months. We gotta mention the other obvious issue here. After cuffing season is over and it's open season again, you guys might no longer be talking and you still go to the same gym and then you're gonna try to avoid each other. Then you gotta take a 15 year break from the gym so you never see him again. Oh man, yeah, I've uh, been there. Don't be staring all this stuff that makes it perennially awkward because you're probably gonna see this chick again, especially if you've seen her at the gym over and over and you finally shoot the shot. It doesn't go well. More than likely, you both are gonna keep going to the same gym. I don't think you need to just buy a whole new gym membership or stop going due to awkwardness. That's a bit overreactionary, I think. But once again, man, if you're at the gym and you talk to a girl, whatever, just focus, right? Like, don't keep looking at her, just do your workout. If you see her in passing, just give her a little, hey, what's up? That's all it's gotta be. More than likely, she'll probably avoid you like the plague, which is fine. Then you can just focus on working out. I will say this, man, if there's a girl that you've hit on at the gym and you keep seeing her and you can't focus because you're still distracted, uh, you need to get your life in order, dude, seriously, because that's just really immature. I'm trying to boost you forward so he finally comes up to you. I can speak for myself, guys. It's more likely that at this point you're going to get DM'd by a girl, in my experience, than have a girl physically walk up to you directly. Not vicinity-wise, not kind of looking at you, directly walking up. Most of them are just not gonna do it. It is what it is. My first tip is to wear bright colors. Make it possible for him to glance in your direction. Well, to be fair on that point, a woman could have on the most baggy early 2000s outfit on. If she's got any semblance of anything we find cute, we're gonna see you. I can speak for myself, guys. I have like predator vision for the girls I'm into. Like I can see them from miles away. It's just natural. When your eye sees a bright color, you're gonna look. A lot of these girls in the gym, their outfits, they look like a giant ensemble of fruit at the grocery store. They're like the entire rainbow. By the way, side tangent, how many outfits do girls have? 
I've gone to a girl's house who barely even lifted and she opens up her closet. She's got like an entire array of multiple name brand gym clothing. I'm like, what is this? She's like, well, if I go to the gym more, I need to look good. I was like, you have a thousand dollar wardrobe for a place you go once a week. Basically, we're going to do a little peacocking. She's using PUA terms now, peacocking. This chick's hip to the game, dude. Normally, guys are the ones that do the peacocking, but we're going to do a little peacocking ourselves. The way guys in the gym peacock, usually I call this the gym bro mating call. They will obnoxiously grunt, especially when they don't need to. I've said before, guys, I grunt when training because I simply lift hard. But there's plenty of guys who over-exaggerate the grunt. Maybe they'll yell, they'll psych themselves up, they'll shake, they'll start, you know, doing ultimate warrior on the ropes and all this stuff. I think that's how most guys in the gym will peacock, per se. Those are really the main ways. Some guys in the gym still think you're going to be a PUA and they'll just walk up. I've seen this happen at my gym. They'll just walk up to these chicks like mid-set or if they're just kind of at the machine. I've watched guys get turned down like five feet away from me. I saw two girls one time at the gym and this one older guy comes up and starts trying to spit game. They turn him down pretty quickly and they literally were laughing at him as he walked away. So you guys got to learn how to read signals, man. Tip number two. Place yourself in his vicinity. Like I told you guys earlier, vicinity, not direct. They'll do a little proximity test. These tips are all about giving him opportunities to come up to you. So one of those opportunities is not making him walk all the way to the other side of the gym to try and talk to you because that's too much effort. He's not trying to do cardio all the way over to you to say hi. It's winter, he's bulking. This is a pretty cool chick, man. But you guys might have experienced this at the gym too. Maybe you're like in the stretching area and there's a lot of open space and the girl just decides to plop down really close to you for some reason to the point where it's noticeable. It's like, it's like there's all this open space. You're right next to me. That's more than likely not a coincidence. Now, once again, guys will read into that too much. Like, oh, she's using the machine next to me. She must want it. It's like, not really. She's at the squat rack right beside me, dude. And then they're going to go over. What I mean is, guys, if there's an area that's more open, especially, or if she's kind of done with the workout, you can tell she's just kind of looking at her phone, she's not really doing much, and she still manages to maneuver her way into your vicinity, that's probably a decent sign that she wants you to talk to her. We're doing it occasionally. Place yourself in his eyesight line. Catch his eye. Don't hold it too long. We don't want to stare. Don't flash him with one of these. If you catch a girl staring at you like that, that's happened to me before, you gotta understand, dude. Like we were talking about earlier, girls have a very high awkward radar. If she stares at you, especially more than once, this actually happened to me at my gym recently. This chick would come in and like every time I'd see her, I mean, she would just like look at me. And it was at the point where it was almost getting kind of weird. And I haven't seen her at the gym recently, but she stopped looking at me altogether, right? Now I probably could have went for it, I wasn't really in a rush to. She was relatively cute. I wasn't like, you know, dying to talk to her or anything. But if a girl stares at you a few times, guys, eventually the thirst is gonna go down and her head's gonna take over. Like, wait a minute, I'm being weird. Pretty much done from that point. You might be able to talk to her. Quick pro tip, if you catch a girl staring at you, you could make an offhand remark about it. Be like, hey, it's like, I see we keep looking at each other. Like, what's going on with that? You know what I mean? Something just kind of playful like that. But if a girl looks at you over and over and you don't approach her, guys, she's going to take that as a rejection and she's going to feel awkward. So it's probably dead in the water. Tip number three is take one of your headphones out or both of them. Oh, my headphone. Oh, did it die? I just, I just need a break from all of this like mainstream like music. That is very true. If headphones are in, this is kind of a common gym adage for both men and women. If the headphones are in, they're not open to being approached. You guys might have had this happen at your gym too. Someone with headphones on will come up to you. You have headphones on and they'll ask something like, hey, you finished up with that machine? And you can't hear them because you're both too lazy to take your headphones out. You'll be like, yeah, yeah. And then they'll start to work in. You're like, oh, dude, I have one more set. It's like, no, I said you were done. What? You got to sit there and basically communicate via sign language until you both finally just do this. You know what I mean? But yeah, taking out the headphone generally, again, especially if she's near you, that could be a decent sign. But be careful, don't do this too long because a girl without headphones in the gym, it's like a moth to a flame. They're all gonna come out of the woodwork. They're like, oh look, her ears are free. Let me go fill them with my words. <laughs> this chick is pretty funny, dude. That's, women do love to talk, man. They, 
They do love to talk. Number four is smile. Look at him and smile. I will say this is much easier said than done for both men and women because men oftentimes are going to get the same advice like smile in her direction. I don't know about you guys, but I have resting bee face really bad. I'll be like, I think a lot of people do. It's kind of crazy. A lot of people, they look like serial killers if you see them in the gym. You talk to them, they're very nice people, but I don't know what it is if it's just the environment or if it's just being in your own head or just because you're tired, normal day-to-day -day stuff. But most people, at least I've noticed, they don't smile just normally. You kind of have to get it out of them. But I can totally relate to that, man. I have definitely given girls the death stare before and I almost feel bad. It's like I'm it's scaring them in some capacity. Now this just shows him that you are friendly, that you're not gonna bite his head off if he decides to come up to you. And fellas, if you notice any women in the gym giving you some of these tips, maybe go up to them in a non-creepy way and say, hey. A non-creepy way. Now, there is a point to be made for general social skills, but also non-creepy essentially implies she wants you to be hot, right? If she doesn't find you attractive, you could be pretty normal. It's gonna be creepy, right? You gotta take that into account too. Alrighty, good luck out there, you guys. Let me know how it goes. Notice how she just ended the video. She's like, don't be creepy. That's it. No explanation, just be a guy I find handsome and then you can talk to me, right? So yeah, that is the end of this video. It was pretty quick, only five and a half minutes. I have other videos on this topic as well. My one is called How Not to Meet Girls at the Gym, Six Tips. I did a reaction to, I think I called it Reddit Mod Approaches Girl at the Gym. That's a really bad one of what not to do at the gym. Just watch all my other content, okay? So I hope this has been helpful to some degree and make the move, man. Okay, don't be scared. Don't let your fear consume you. It really will consume you if you let it. Get it done. But this has been it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, check the pinned comment in the description for 30% off your first order with Tej Hanley. Big shout out as always to the Patreon supporters and the channel members. Hit me up in the links below for coaching, consultations, and programs. And I will catch you guys next time.